everybody. This is Candace. She's another one of our Angora bunnies. She is a purebred French Angora. And um, she is a ruby-eyed white, so she's a rue. Pretty red eyes. Um, she is very, very fluffy right now. Um, pretty much in full wool, even though I have plucked her a couple times um, this last week. She is still very fluffy. Now, Candace is my daughter's bunny for 4-H. I call her my bunny because she's such a little cuddle bunny. Um, she showed her at the county fair in the beginning of August. And um, the thing I want to talk about today is how to make sure your Angora rabbit has a nice coat for the fair. Now, we learned a lot of our information about Angoras. We are by no far experts, but we've been learning a lot from other breeders, from um, Angora breeders, from other rabbit breeders, from previous Angora breeders, from the fair superintendents and judges. They've told us so much information over the last year that it has been just so um, awakening on what we've learned about Angora rabbits. Uh, the reason we chose to do Angoras is because I spin wool. I used to raise sheep when I was younger and um, I love spinning wool and fiber and I've taught my daughter to spin also. So we decided that since we can't have sheep where we live, we don't have the space, we don't have enough acreage, that we were going to get fake sheep, our little Angora bunnies. And um, they are by no means the rabbit to get if you're a beginner because they are a lot of work. They take constant brushing, plucking, cleaning to make sure that their wool is maintained. I saw rabbits at the fair that were not maintained and it was obvious that the people that had those rabbits don't raise them for fiber. And um, really an Angora rabbit that produces a nice fiber should be used for fiber. Now this is Candace and um, for the fair, we were told not to over pluck her because you wanted her her wool to be thick, full. Um, you didn't want to have it too thin. So we only lightly plucked her. And I'm going to be doing a video on plucking uh, later, so stay tuned for that. Watch for that video. But instead of plucking, we did brushing just to get the loose fibers out to get any um, hay or any bedding out of her fiber to keep her clean. She's white, so we have to keep her clean because part of the judging, actually a majority of the points given in judging is for their fiber. So instead of heavy plucking, we just use a little brush and we brush it and pull the fiber out. Now, if you're a spinner, you will notice when you're pulling the fibers out with a brush, because you can just brush fiber out always and never pluck, but the fibers kind of swirl around the brush bristles. So when you pull that off the brush, it's swirled slightly and it's not as easy to spin. It's not as clean of a spin, a nice smooth spin. If you're not a fiber enthusiast, you probably don't care about that and wouldn't know that. But for me, I noticed that. So um, I have, you'll have to comb it um, or take just a little bit more care before spinning that fiber because it is kind of swirled um, instead of smooth locks that are coming out. But that's all we did was we brushed it. Now when you're showing rabbits, you have to work on flipping a rabbit. Uh, for showmanship. So this was a great time to check her underbelly to clean up the belly and make sure it's clean. So when my daughter was working on her flipping and getting her ready for showmanship, we were able to also go and clean her um, legs and feet and belly. Also gave us a chance to check her for um, any injuries, bug bites, anything that could be on your rabbit. And gores, it's not as obvious because their wool is so long. So you do have to take the time to check them closely for um, fly bites, fly larva, the, where they have the eggs laid and they, they can cause the bot fly issues. Um, you have to check them a little bit more closely because you're not going to see them visual, visually with your eye. And I just lost my light. Hold on. I'm outside in the garage with my bunnies and it's a little bit late so I did lose my light um, so that is the big thing with getting her ready for show we started this her show was the beginning of August and we started in in May really maintaining her wool and watching it and making sure it was um, just really nice for show and that was the one thing that the judge did point out she had the best wool 
of um, the rabbits that were there. There were only a couple French Angoras and then there were English. Their wools vary between the two breeds. She had the best wool overall of all the Angoras that were at the show. Yay! And we're newbies and we don't know as much as some other people, so that was really great. And I think if you are a fiber enthusiast, you just take a little bit more pride in your bunny. So remember, if you do wanna show your Angoras, don't over pluck them before the fair. Keep that, or before the show, not everybody shows at a fair, but at a rabbit show, um, keep that wool nice and thick and um, just clean out the residue and make sure they're nice and clean and not yellowing, um, especially on the feet and hind ends where they can get some yellowing um, just because they are white rabbits. Or at least ours is a white rabbit. Not all Angoras are white, but... Um, and um, brush instead of heavy plucking. That was the big thing that we did for the show. And this is Candace. And you'll see more of her because I'm going to show you how to pluck her in another video because she's a sweetheart and she produces a lot of wool and um, it's beautiful wool. And um, I've already started spinning it so you can check out some videos on that once I get those uploaded. So stay tuned for more Angora Bunny videos.